La Montaña Rusa by Los Carpinteros. There is an image of the work on the screen which will be described in detail shortly. This video is a multi-sensory interpretation by Christian Buckingham, Tamara Crasto, and Mihyun Maria Kim. This multi-sensory interpretation of the sculptural installation La Montaña Rusa by Cuban Artist Collective Los Carpinteros reflects the collective's focus on the theme of juxtaposition. Juxtaposition refers to the placement of two elements close together with contrasting effect in order to highlight the differences and similarities. Something like this. Or like this. Or this. The big idea. Visitors are invited to take part in ways that may be meaningful to the individual and to engage with the work through audiovisual prompts that suggest approaches to participate within the home, outdoors, and in augmented spaces using accessible materials. Suggested materials and resources. Here are some suggested materials and resources that may supplement your engagement with this piece. None of these items are required, but are offered as ways to aid and expand beyond the limitation of this audiovisual format. Suggested items, cotton candy, bubble gum, black licorice, marshmallows, chamomile or calming herbal tea, pillow, bed or mattress, hair dryer, fan. Some recommended spaces are bedroom, park or playground. Additional technology include headphones, smartphone, AR capable device, and 3D printer. Video timeline. Each of the video segments may be viewed in the linear order they are presented in, or visitors may choose to explore the content that is most relevant to them. In order to make each section as accessible as possible, closed captions and descriptive audio are included throughout. After this overview, we will introduce the graduate student collective behind this interpretation at the 336 mark. At 521, we will provide a brief background on the art collective who created the piece, as well as a detailed description of the work at 612. Material suggestions to make your own physical sculpture will play at 837. At 924, we will guide visitors through potential spaces to explore. Tasting and olfactory recommendations will be offered at the 1052 mark. At 1231, a sonic representation of the piece will play. At 1414, we'll provide access to a virtual 3D object recreation of the piece, followed by additional prompts and concluding remarks at 1515. Thank you for choosing to engage with our multi-sensory interpretation of this artwork. We hope you discover aspects of this experience to connect with. In the collaborative spirit of the collective over the individual, our group has chosen not to share our faces, Instead, our carpenter boots appear at the respective foots of our beds as a nod to the collective, their intentions, and their work. My name is Christian Buckingham. I'm a Digital Futures graduate study student at OCAD University. Much of my work focuses on the artistic and storytelling affordances which are specific to each medium and how those respective limitations and possibilities inform the outcome, presentation, and experience of a given work. Hi, I'm Tamara, an industrial designer and educator currently at OCAD U's Inclusive Design Program. Uh, my multidisciplinary approach harnesses insight and cultural relevance to make tangible solutions for a positive social impact. Um, I usually think of myself as living at the intersection of creativity and critical thinking. My name is Mihan Maria Kim, and I'm an interdisciplinary artist based in Toronto. Currently in the Interdisciplinary Art, Media, and Design graduate program at OCAD University. I research transmitted post-memory, gaps in family narratives, perception of time, 
in-betweenness, and transgenerational trauma through experiences of war, displacement, poverty, and family divide. My work take the forms of paintings, performative videos, audio, site-specific installations, community-based roundtables, and public art. Background on the Artist Collective Los Carpinteros, or in English, The Carpenters, was an artist collective founded in 1992 in Havana, Cuba, by Marco Antonio Castillo Valdez, Dagoberto Rodriguez Sanchez, and Alexandre Arechia, who left the group in 2003. The collective had decided to renounce the notion of individual authorship, rather choosing to focus on the collaborative process. They worked with various aspects of architecture, design, and sculpture, creating drawings and installations that negotiate the space between the functional and the non-functional. Although the group had success in a number of exhibitions around the world, the collective dissolved after 26 years in 2018. Detailed description of the piece. La Montaña Rusa directly translates as Russian mountain, but also as the common Spanish term for roller coaster and as a large-scale sculptural installation made by the Cuban collective Los Carpinteros in 2008. Looking from above, the artwork looks like an uneven rounded rectangular shape with an opening, not fully creating a closed circuit. When installed, the sculpture at its highest and widest measures 254 centimeters high, 378 centimeters wide, and 822 centimeters long. The base frame is made of many vertical metal legs attached together with crisscrossing bars, all painted in black, that creates an undulating roller coaster like shape. On the black frame are a line of urethane foam thin mattresses in bubblegum pink synthetic fabric with a slight shiny glistening pattern that reads as a long bed wide enough for one person to lie down on at any point. Both the head and the tail are capped with a silver stainless steel tall frame that is shaped like an arch with five vertical bars on each, attached to the black frame that resembles a bed frame. The head is taller than the tail, both facing each other, leaving just enough space for one person to walk between to enter the center of the structure. There is a white cotton covered polyester fiber pillow placed on the mattress at the head, where one could lie down on a flat surface that suggests a start of the up and down movement of a roller coaster ride. There are three high points, with the second highest near the start, the lowest next, with a flat surface break leading to the tallest point near the tail end. All of these elements suggest both a bed and a roller coaster, where one sleeping enters a dreamlike state, which has also been interpreted to allude to the cycles of life, rest, sexuality, birth, and death. The sculpture reflects the collective's interest in domestic objects and combines the space of the private bedroom with a public outdoor object of entertainment. These juxtapositions have been interpreted in different ways, as both the uncontrollable aspects of dreams and of deeper references to Cuba. Material suggestion to make your own physical sculpture. Recycled cardboard, tape, styrofoam board, pink patterned fabric, wooden sticks, glue gun, metal wire, black spray paint, old white cotton, and stitching materials. You can use cardboard and wooden sticks to create the base structure. Spray paint the base in black, outdoors or in a well-ventilated open area. Then tape the pink fabric to the cutout styrofoam shapes to create a few mattresses. Use the wire to finish off the frame and create a pillow to place on your own miniature Montaña Rusa. Guided Exploration Prompt 1 1. Take a pillow to the nearest park with a slide. Consider other items that could replicate the feeling of a pillow, such as a padded jacket or a rolled up scarf. Two. Go down the slide, lying down, holding your pillow under your head. Other angled surfaces to lay down on, such as a slight hill or steeply reclined seat, could also work. 3. Once down and safe to do so, lay with your feet facing upward and observe or imagine the sky. 4. Note if this is comfortable and a moment of rest or play. 
Prompt 2. Step 1. Go to your bedroom or place of rest with a hairdryer. Consider alternatives such as an automated or handheld fan. Step 2. Get ready to sleep. Change into pajamas, turn off the lights, proceed with your bedtime routine. Step 3. Once fully ready for bed, imagine your bed is the cart of a roller coaster ride. Listen to the roller coaster sounds at 1340 to enhance this experience. Step 4. Turn the hairdryer on cool and direct it at times to your face while listening to the sounds. Step 5. How does this activity affect your sleep? Does it have an impact on your thoughts or dreams? Tasting and olfactory recommendations. Prompt 3. 1. Consider classically pink sugary treats that are often associated with amusement parks and fairs, such as cotton candy, bubblegum, or even pink lemonade. 2. Now think about something that would be calming to have before bed, such as chamomile or herbal tea, soothing scented oils like lavender, or anything else that might help you wind down. 3. Taste or smell the contrasting flavors simultaneously while closing your eyes. 4. Do these items contradict or enhance one another? Do you find them soothing, stimulating, or do you have another response? Prompt 4. 1. Consider food items that may be reminiscent of the contrasting textures featured in the artwork. 2. The color and shape of the mattresses are very similar to bubblegum tape or rainbow strip candies. 3. The pillow is much like a squishy marshmallow. Perhaps there are other treats that you find pillow-like in texture. 4. The shiny black bars that curve along with the bending mattresses are somewhat like the ropes of black licorice. Maybe there is something more steel-like, such as hard candies, that could also be appropriate. 5. Pair some of these items and consider how the flavors and textures play off each other. Do you find these pairings enjoyable or unexpected in any way? Sonic Representation Three D object recreation. There is a QR code on the screen which can be scanned by an augmented reality capable device to view a scaled down model of the piece. This requires the Adobe Aero app, which is free to use. There is now a different QR code being displayed, which links to a full scale version of the augmented reality model. We recommend trying this one outdoors or in a large space if possible. A third QR code links to an OBJ file which can be downloaded. If you have access to a 3D printer, 
This model may be 3D printed for a tactile representation of the piece. It should be noted that this represents the approximate shape of the installation piece, but not the materials used. Additional prompts and concluding remarks. As the original sculpture was installed in the gallery as a view-only artwork, our intention was to create many sensory interpretations to open up access for various audiences to encounter it from wherever they may be situated, enhancing the reach and blur between the private and public spaces which the collective alludes to. As it was our first time working together, we want to collaboratively acknowledge and thank our professor, Melissa Smith, in guiding us through the research methods and materials to come to this interpretation. Many thanks to all the class guests, community partners, and AGO members for the generous sharing of lived experiences, feedback, and endless support. Working together online through remote learning in the midst of the pandemic, we felt engaged and excited to share our skills with each other and thank the Los Carpinteros Collective for allowing us to create various iterations of this fun sculptural installation. Finally, thank you for joining us on our multi-sensory ride. You can follow along with additional prompts in the supporting document linked in the description below. Share your interpretation using the hashtag Tusmantanya Rusa 